Guys, this is this is your own brain, your own thoughts, your own writing.
It's because of what I said, it, you know, it's running so hard on all that, so. And then. Um, well, maybe, maybe during the day we turn it up to 78 or something. Okay, so let's uh, watch and see what this kind of looked like a little bit. Were you alive back then or like? 88? Yep. I was born in 75. Oh, wow. I was like, hey. Hi. You were playing in the NFL at 80 years old. That's right. That's why I'm a teacher now. If you were born in 75 and 88, you'd be 13. 13? Yeah, you'd be 13. Oh, yeah, I was thinking of 83. <laughs> oh, stick on. So you see that you saw the fog. Hey, you saw the fog coming over the side. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's crazy. Oh, you can see a little bit still. Yeah, it's really me. Easy. Yeah, it's a little bit. All you can see is the white stripes. You can see the duck stripes. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a big thing. I don't know if that's awesome. Right. 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 Sanders, so. <laughs> <laughs> Did the ball bowl like 
was it just like it wasn't planned? Right. Oh, okay. No, we'll put it. They call the fog ball until later. <coughs> yeah, I was kind of like, we got some balls in the NFC to be a pretty weird thing to have it happen midday like that. So, yeah. It be, it's, it's, but it wasn't a ball. It, it wasn't. They just called it that because it was the fog playoff scene. What is all this? That has the same cool. The fog playoff scene? That's after knowing what you're talking Anyway, okay, so uh, put your name being appeared on this. We're going to turn this in a little bit. Go ahead and get out your incremental um, your incremental model tracker. What? What is that? Susan. Hi. Oh, this. Oh, cool. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't have any staff. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Okay. All right, so go ahead and get this one out. I'll oh, say that, but then check your backpack. Did y'all do that? Uh, Wait, is it the 27th? Yeah. Oh, is that oh, like two my days off? Did you just do that? Money? Yeah, it was money. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have that anymore. Oh, anymore. I wasn't even. Yeah, there's no anymore around here, young man. You put it in your backpack okay. and you keep it there. But okay, I don't want to, like, I lost it. Soldier thingies in my deck. I don't. I don't really do it at <laughs> well, I think I did. I don't think we did that. Did we tell you? No. I did not. A bunch of chicken heads up in here. I don't think we did that. I don't think we did that. No, I think we did turn it in. Well, let's see. No, we didn't turn this in. Oh, we did it. You have it. Oh, Nobody has it? No, I, I don't know. I don't remember having that. Yeah, I don't know. Were you not here? And now we just said I wasn't here. Like, Tuesday? Yeah, Monday? Tuesday? We did that. Monday? Monday? Yeah, I don't remember. All right, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get some then. All right. Wait, Monday we had a Sunday Tuesday. 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 I'm so No, I was on my own. It was that bald dude. Huh? I was <laughs> the one that picked on Connor. <laughs> no, it was that late one. No! Uh -huh. no yeah, it's it's a a if we had a dude that we don't know, we Yes, we did. We had a dude, so. We had a lady. We had a lady. We had a lady. We had a lady. It was Monday. I was thinking. I don't know. McKinley. That lady was my grandma. You think Cassandra? No. Cassandra. about it in a bit and um, we're also going to be tracking all right so let me all right so if I were to 
Let's say I was going to draw a model of the solar system. Because we're just starting to learn about it. Most of your models of the solar system, or most people's models of the solar system, would start out with the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune. Pluto is considered. What? Pluto is a planet. Don't you care? It says Uranus. What just happened? You said the name right. What? What? Still Uranus, Uranus. Uranus. What's after Neptune? Uranus. Uranus. Wow, you all say it like what kind of Uranus. 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 See? <laughs> <laughs> That's how our team well, always starts saying that all the time. Uranus. Uranus. Yeah, Uranus. 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 That's great. What do you mean? That's all your sucker. Woo! Uranus. Uranus. You're anus. I know. Nobody wants to talk about your anus. Yo, when I say it, it got in trouble in Well, that's how I said it growing up, too. Your anus. But nobody wants to talk about your anus. Nobody wants to talk about my anus. Why are we talking about anuses? It's actually anus eye, not anus buzz. Anus They talk. They talk about it all the time. It's not gonna happen. It's not there. No. No. I feel bad for yes. Pluto. Yes. Like a, okay. Yeah. Pluto's like the homeless. All right. It's just like it's yeah. funny yeah. to get bored. Yeah. All right. Sorry. So he's the first one I heard to say it correctly. So he's the one who got the sucker. So sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Now. Hey, I need you to kind of follow with me here. All right, so we got our planets here, and then you, of course, you draw the circle for the orbit, and this is your basic solar system, right? This is what most people understand. But as we would learn more, you would add more to it. Like, for instance, you would put the asteroid belt that's between Earth and Mars. You might add, you might add eventually you might add some, um, um, you might add some moons to Mars. You might add a ring to Jupiter, because it actually has a ring we discovered a couple years ago. Uh, you'd add rings to Saturn. Uh, Jupiter actually has Jupiter actually has 79 moons. Wait, Jupiter has rings? It's very it's hard. We can't see it from Earth, really, but it does have one. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Don't all the gas giants have rings? Uh, I think they do, actually. Uh, anyway, so focus. Yeah, I, it's it's not about how much you know about the, the solar system. It's about the concept that most people would draw the solar system here, seven or eight planets, and then maybe include Pluto as well. But as you learn more, you would add more features to it. So gradually, your model becomes better and better and better, right? So that's what this is going to do. This is going to be our increment, incremental model tracker, which means as we learn more about how fog works, we're going to have more information and, and make it better and better. There'll be, there'll be another paper that has more of these on it that I'll be giving to you in the future. Okay? So this is this is our tracker. Um, yeah, I figured we know we had it. But, yep. I bet it had more moons that just crashed into the well, that's, it's possible, and, you know, there's lots of ideas behind that. That could be how Saturn's rings formed, or, or um, oftentimes when, when moons form, it's because they had rings that all came together and formed a moon. Uh, but, yeah, there's a lot involved with that. Okay, so, uh, anyway, so as we work through understanding fog better, we're going to modify our model. So we're going to go with a basic of what we think we understand so far today. So, okay, so on the top of your paper, on the first line that you can write on that's not your namespace, I want you to write, I want you to write out, uh, how, how can we make our own fog? Okay, we know that's what we're working towards. How can we make our own fog on that top line? Questions are time to answer, or questions are not a time to answer? No, yes. What? 
saw in the video, okay? So on the second line, put, how does fog form? So one line, how do we make fog? How do we make our own fog? today. Shoulder partner is going to be, yeah, right across the aisle from you. Hey, this way. Okay. Uh, uh, no, he's already got one. I'm going to work with him. That's it. Switch. No. Uh, so what we'll have is we'll have you three here. Right here. Okay, right here. Okay, right here. Okay, right here. Okay. Hey, so go ahead and discuss for about two minutes. Discuss for two minutes what you think it takes to cause to form fog in nature. Okay? People. Heat, water, uh, air. Boom. On the water. Got it? Yeah, yeah. The water baby. That's what I'm talking about the water baby. I said water. I said water. If I said fire, I meant water. Hi, I just put your flame out with water. I'm sorry, I know it's gasoline. Okay, your shoes are white. Does that make you want your stuff clean. That just means that means. Alright, anyway, up here. Alright, so let's get some ideas of what we think about what it what it takes to cause or form fog, Jason. Alright, raise your hand and share an idea. Yep. Okay, so you're saying heat water. Hey, I'm saying that. That's my answer. Voice. Water. Air. Fire. Yeah, I said water for you. Guys, no. Hi. As a kid, you like the word voice? No way. 
Amen. Amen. So we keep getting a little out of control. I don't want to give homework. You perform well in class, you work hard while you're here, I won't give homework. Okay, so let's, I know it's the last class of the day, everybody's excited to get home, it's a long class. Let's get it together, all right? Yes? Humidity. Humidity, okay. And carbon monoxide. That's good to say Are you saying that for fun or you're keeping out? Okay. Hair? Oh, like you mean. Oh, thank you. And who else? Okay. All right, Kyle. What? No. Yeah. Condensation. Okay. All right, so let's. Let's see if we agree with these. Let's see if we agree. So think, it, think to yourself for a second. Go through each one of these. So some of you are not paying attention still. So go through each one of these in your head and decide whether you agree or disagree on that being included and what it takes to make thought. Okay? All right. So we're going to vote. Yes. Okay. Pete, raise your hand. Okay. We'll, we'll keep Pete. Water, raise your hand. Okay. We'll keep water. Moisture. Okay. Humidity. Okay. We still got a majority. Air. Uh, I think we got a majority on that. All right. Evaporation. Oh, yeah, but it puts our hand in there. Oh, no, you might have less than half. I'm going to cross that one out. I'm not saying you're right. Okay, I'm just, we're just going on boat and soon we get condensation. Raise your hand. All right. So, what I'm noticing, I'm noticing a trend here, and I may be wrong, but the hands started dying off as we went farther down the list. So some of you may have not raised your hand because you're bored of it. No. So I, hope, I hope that's not the case. Now, water, moisture, community, essentially the same thing. Essentially the same thing, especially these two, but I'm not really caring about that. Okay, so on your paper, uh, where it says, um, uh, you got less than question, don't worry about that. Phenomenal source or of evidence. So we're just gonna put fog there. Okay, so that second box put fog. Fog. I hear put fog. F O G. I hear put fog. Fog. And in the second box. And in the third box right here, I want you to list these five. Okay, do it kind of small because we're gonna use part of the box for something else. But it says science, uh, what science ideas we figure out. Uh, put uh, put those right there. What? Yeah, I just held it up and showed you. You can put those words right here. Yeah, just put them there for now. It's okay that you disagree. We, we're going to be modifying these in the future anyway. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't have this much. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. What does that mean? Is <laughs> that right? Hopefully. He said a snake out of the toad. Oh, no. Yeah. Turtle head. Snake will come out of the um, toilet. Because they have my sitting on the toilet. He doesn't have to poop, obviously. They never know that he eats a lot. <laughs> 
Bacteria, viruses. So they, how do you know sure? um, Well, we do a pretty good job preventing them from getting sick by having guys wash your hands before you touch them and stuff. But uh, sometimes their eyes get cloudy, they'll actually have nasal drip coming out their nostrils and stuff. Harder, yeah. Respiratory infections are common. Yeah, not today. Is not like hard when they eat like certain meals? It's like they're they just eat, they eat rodents. I have obviously like if they can't really have enough, they get harder. Oh no, they have that patients before. Oh, you mean when they're sick? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Except they don't have nasal cavities the way we do, so they don't have as much vomit in them. Um, what is the name of the marathon at this point? No, those people have in mind no bathroom. We're not doing bathroom breaks anymore. You guys are too loud, so we're just gonna go one by one. So we gotta go. But anyway, how to do? Where's in my daughter's room? Huh? Where's in my daughter's room? Is that English? <laughs> <laughs> not like that. Anyway, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna work on some data that's gonna kind of give us a better understanding of how this fog works, but. Talk to your neighbors again. I want you to decide if we wanted more data on fog, where should we go to get it? Okay, so talk to each other. Where should we go to get data on fog? Yep. When he gets back, let's go. All right. Yeah. Uh, what, yeah, what All right. Um, All right. Raise your hand and share. What do you guys got? What's your idea for where you could go to get some data about fog? Yeah, fog no such thing. <laughs> well, maybe there is, just not with that name. What's another? What would be a better way? Hold on, guys. I'm talking with Isaac. You should be listening. Yeah, but what kind of person is a fog expert? Science people. Guys, we're about to get book work. I'm talking with Isaac. You should all be listening, thinking of ideas, and listening to what he's saying. Let's try it again. Think more general. Foggyologist, but not specifically to fog. What would be the next step up? Weatherman. Weatherman. Okay. Or weather woman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who? Right. And that would be. It's not always. It's well. Okay, so I was gonna I was gonna clarify that weather people are not always meteorologists, but meteorologists are always weather people. Okay, no. so yes. Because there's people in the news that are weather people, and they're just reading stuff on the screen. They're gonna be necessarily. I, I know. What I'm saying is, is that there's a meteorologist. They also know weather. Okay. And it's yeah. so okay, so I agree. I think that would be a good plan to finding. Some data about fog. So let's see what we can get here. So we need a little bit more of your opinion about where this data is going to come from. We know we want it from Weather Channel or Meteorologist, or whatever. That's all kind of the same thing. My question is, what sections of the country do we want fog data for to help us understand fog better? Some of our foggiest regions. Well, that may be true. Brazil. So, well, we're going to stay in the U.S. because that's going to make it easier for us. So, we don't have data for Canada. We don't have data for Mexico. 
We just have it from the continental United States. Obviously, continental United States means everywhere but Alaska and Hawaii. They're not included. So, now, first of all, what do you guys notice about this this uh, map here? Uh, go ahead. Yeah. It's probably just where the end of the water. Okay, you notice there's a there's high fog levels near water. Okay, what else? Yep. Uh, the farther inland you go, the wider the, the area looks like over in Utah and Arizona. Is okay, so maybe farther inland isn't quite accurate, but more western yeah. might have something. Okay. Yeah. Desert regions. Yep. Uh, places where temperatures are always changing. <laughs> okay. Take. So you feel changing temperatures has something to do with it? Yep. It gets warmer when it's cold. Okay, there seems to be a trend for less fog farther from water. I can kind of see that. Obviously, it's a little different right here. There's a couple spots that might be an exception, but, you, but generally, Dalen's pretty right. Pretty accurate, I'd say. Is there anywhere in the U.S. that does not have fog? No. I mean, a little bit. One to five, even if it's white. Ah, one to five, even if it's white. <coughs> so one to five, what? Days with heavy fog. Days with heavy fog. So even places where there's not a lot, it's there's still some. Pretty rare though, right? But everywhere has fog, right? Did you already go, Isaac? That's right. There's no way to do it. Two, All right, so so uh, raise your hand. Would you fall <laughs> Raise your hand and tell me where you think we should uh, get some data from. What areas of the country? Yeah. Florida. So you want to go Florida? Okay, I can see that. Yeah. Louisiana. Louisiana? Yeah, I can see that. California. California's got some spots. Good. Maine. Maine. Good. Idaho. So you want this one right here. You know, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Hands down for a sec. Okay. What would be the benefit of getting data from a place that doesn't have a lot of fog? You can see what's oh, yeah. yeah, you can do comparisons, right? You can see, okay, so here so what if you have a place with a lot of fog and a place with not a lot of fog? And they're really close to being the same as far as their data goes. That would be really interesting. That could really Give us a lot of information. Uh, yeah, Katie. Um, I don't know if you want to besides California. What's that? Oregon. Besides? No, no, no. This yeah. Arizona. Okay, good. Arizona. Okay. You get that one because California's right next to it and the whole thing's covered and that one's not at all. Okay, they're both about to be good comparisons. Yep. Uh, Kyle? Um, what's the state? <laughs> the left of Tennessee. Left Arkansas, Tennessee, Arkansas, we got Arkansas, Arkansas, we got Missouri. Okay, Missouri touches eight states, and Tennessee touches eight states. So who's the real winner? I think Tennessee. Missouri does. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you're right. How many does Kentucky touch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. I thought Kentucky had one more than that. Very cool. Uh, so we'll All right, very good. So what we're going to do is, I think I've got data for most of those places. So what we're going to do is have you work on that data. Um, so you need to get out a blank sheet of paper. You need to get out. Well, you don't need that.
All right. Um, so we're gonna have you guys. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have you guys work in groups of four on this. Um, and I, I'm gonna assign the four. Uh, maybe next week I'll set it up where you guys can choose your own groups, but there's kind of a weird protocol for it, so it won't be as easy as you think. But it'll be good. All right, so we'll just have you four. And the next four, okay, four and four. Wait, so that's four? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this four here. This four here. Uh, 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 it's like you a film, man. Three to four. <laughs> Please storm. Okay. Please. Alright. So, hey, we're <laughs> It's not. It, it, it's really pretty simple. It, it looks complicated, but it's not. So I'm going to hand you a set of data for your group. And uh, <laughs> I want you guys to organize your desks in a way that you can all see one page together at a time. Over here? Would you throw it? Uh, <laughs> on accident. On accident. <laughs> now, hold on, I got this. Hey. That don't make no sense. Okay. Oh! Aiden, bro. Aiden, bro. I'll get you another pencil. That doesn't make no sense. Aiden, bro. Aiden, bro. Aiden, bro. Aiden, bro. Aiden, bro. Aiden, bro.